The exchange of deadly missiles and drones between Iran and Israel has put the Islamic Revolutionary Guard Corps, or IRGC, back in the spotlight. The IRGC, also known as the Sipai Pasdaran, is a powerful Iranian military group that primarily carried out the recent attack on Israel. But do not confuse this with Iran's traditional armed forces. The IRGC is a parallel military body. The larger question, how was this militant group formed and what led to their rise in Iran? Founded after the revolution in 1979, the group is tasked to defend Iran's revolutionary government from both internal and external threats. IRGC directly answers to Iran's supreme leader, Ayatollah Ali Khamenei. It's a special ops group that's grown to 1,90,000 strong with its own army, navy and air units. The force over the years has also become influential in domestic politics, with many senior officials having passed through its ranks. The IRGC even controls passage, a volunteer militia with deep religious ties, and the United States declared them a terrorist organization in 2019. The IRGC was founded in the immediate aftermath of Shah Mohammad Reza Pahlavi's fall. At the same time, the ruling clerics formed their own ideological military arm, the IRGC, to defend the 1979 revolution and its achievements. So the militant group was born out of a desire for security and a commitment to a new Islamic Iran. Iran's founding supreme leader, Ayatollah Ruhollah Khomeini, created this military force, describing the group as the soldiers of Islam. According to a 2020 report from the Center for Strategic and International Studies, IRGC was given both a constitutionally legitimate existence and the legal right to become involved in the political scene in order to defend the revolutionary regime and its policies. The IRGC leads key military operations in Iran and has an overseas arm called the Quds Force. This Quds Force throws its weight around the Middle East, influencing militias in places like Lebanon and Iraq. IRGCs have fought in support of President Bashar al-Assad in Syria's civil war and have backed Iraqi security forces in their battle against Islamic State militants in recent years. IRGC's top commander, Major General Qasem Soleimani, was killed by the United States in a drone attack in Iraq in 2020 that raised fears of a major conflict. The IRGC also controls Iran's navy, guarding the important Strait of Hormuz, a key shipping route connecting the Gulf to the Indian Ocean, through which 20% of the world's oil supply passes. Additionally, the IRGC also plays an important role in Iran's economics and is believed to control around one-third of Iran's economy through a series of subsidiaries and trusts. A Center for Strategic and International Studies report reads, the IRGC has become the most powerful controller of all important economic sectors across Iran. Through its military might to political influence, the IRGC has cemented its place as a key player in shaping modern Iran. For more informative videos like this, keep watching India Today Newsmo.